Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is your brother, Don Gabar. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakan Kodaj. Yahweh is the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. Yahweh honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will move well through the Spirit, teaching His Word and believing His Word to the best of their ability. Lord willing, the Spirit can still be upon them to endure. And a mighty shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered four corners of the earth, teaching the word with sincerity, bringing forth the truth, lower and the most high continue to put on their spirit to endure. Shalom to the wise and the single sisters as believers of his word. Lord willing, the spirit can be upon them to continue to endure and uh, continue to pursue to be a loving and silent life. Lord willing, the most high mercy on other brothers and sisters that have faith. You know, um, I did watch a video two days ago of the, you know, the brother from Great Most Orlando. And he was, uh, you know, leaving work and he was bringing out Psalms 103. And it just came to pass from me leaving work last night. You know, I was reading Psalms 103, you know, going through it. And it was hitting, you know, because it goes into bless uh, Yahweh's holy character. You know, and then when you go to verse 19 to 20, it goes into like blessing Yahweh. And uh, verse 20, this is what it says. It says, bless Yahweh, ye angels. Let me say it again. Bless Yahweh, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Now, in uh, Christianity, we would have thought that this is really talking about real angels. You know, but the men of the Lord you know, who are under the sun, we are the ones that are considered angels too. So what I did is I looked up the word, this is the blue letter, uh, H4397. In the Hebrew word, it would be malak. It's malak. And the meaning of it, that you can see the root word from a unused root meaning to the dispatch as a deputy. So when you go to the biblical meaning, it goes into messenger, representative, messenger, angel, uh, theo, for fanatic angel, uh, the strongs, Salaki. Salaki. You got um the Strong's trans, uh, Translate, Angels, Messenger, Ambassador, Variant. And when you look at the Strong's definition at the bottom, it goes into the unused root meaning to dispatch as a deputy, a messenger, specifically of God, an angel, also a prophet, priest, or teacher, ambassador, angel, king, messenger, right? So this ain't... Uh, Going into like the angel, like Gabriel or Uriah. This is going into uh, the men of the Lord, you know, the Israelite men, you know. So for the whole point where he says, bless Yahweh, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening to the voice of the Lord, right? The Lord gave the 12 tribes of Israel commandments. You know, and we're supposed to be listening to the vo uh, the voice of the Lord through other angels, right? Through other messengers, through other priests, through other teachers, through other prophets, right? Let me get this in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach himself being the chief cornerstone. Right? So the, the 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 prophets, the apostles, you know, this whole uh ministry is built on their backs. This is why the Lord tell us in um Matthew twenty two, you know, get that put that garment on, that garment of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know. That's that garment that is truth, you know, and only the men of the Lord is going to put on that beautiful garment, you know, 
Let me see if I can get another one. This is This is a uh, second this first Peter chapter 2 verse 4 it says to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men but chosen of the most high and precious ye also as lively, lively stones are built upon a spiritual house a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach right so we're even lively stones under that great stone which is HaMashiach Yahweh Shai it says wherefore also it is contained in the scriptures behold I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone elect precious that uh, I mean, and he that believeth for him shall not be confounded, right? Especially us that's uh, teaching his word, if we believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he said you're going to become an ambassador, right? You're going to become either an evangelist, a, a, a teacher in this thing, man. You're going to become a leader in this thing, right? Because the Lord is only calling a few uh, to labor, you know? And you're going to uh, be ten toes down. For the Lord's ministry, you know. Uh, let me see if this is uh, another one I'm gonna use. Like, bear with me. I ain't gonna make this this one too long. This is Matthew uh, chapter sixteen, number seven, seventeen. It says, "How wish I answer the seven to him? Bless our thou, Simon." By Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Right? This place, you know, this 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 place of darkness is not going to prevail against you know the ministry of the Lord. The Lord planted the the teachers. You know, in every captivity, wherever Israel was at, the Lord planted the men of the Lord there. You know, this is why you always want to go uh, through precepts, you know. First Samuel is going to always be there because if anybody wants a divine message, if you want a prophecy, you are going to the seers. This is uh, First Samuel chapter 9, verse 9. It says, before in time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, Thus he spake, come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before called a seer. So when you go back to Psalms 103, the ones that's praising him are the angels that keep his commandments and that's hearing those voices. So that's why in this same time, people that really want that divine message, you going through something, health, uh, danger, death, you want to be in order, you want correction, you want to be pulled back up. You need men of the Lord that's crying and saying his name. You know, this is why anybody that needed help, they needed the, uh, inspiration, they need to get corrected, they need their, their children in, in a fine line, women in order. You went to the men of the Lord to require a message. You know, Isaac's wife, right? Uh, Rachel, she was saying, why am I thus? You know? Or Rebecca Salaki, if I'm if I'm choosing the wrong one, but uh, Isaac White, she's saying, "Why am I thus?" And she required she required the Lord. And when you go in that, when somebody required the Lord, they wanted a message, you know, and they always had to go to a prophet to get that message, right? And when we go to uh, Isaiah thirty and ten, of course you're gonna have false prophets that's gonna teach lies. So it's all it's a hand in hand. If you have angels that's teaching and bringing out prophetic messages, you have other angels that's deceiving, right? Because you can have angels that's prophets, priests, teachers, and ambassadors, and you can have wicked teachers too. That, that can be angels too, right? When you go to Deuteronomy, the 13th chapter, which, you know, through, throughout the whole Bible, you hear, you know, the men of the Lord 
speaking all false prophets. But when you go to Deuteronomy chapter 13, it goes into like false prophets will be destroyed. You know, anybody uh, that's raised up dreamers of dreams, that's given signs and wonders, and say if that dream, say if that wonder do come to pass, you know, and that person is telling you to go to other gods, that person really should be put to death. You know, we in the time now because of Yahweh Shai. You know, brothers should rebuke him. That's why I, this is even more why I respect the brothers I labor with, even more the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, because they show you how to really be a teacher in this thing. You know, you, we not only here to talk about Esau, even though the Lord said he would be at war with Amalek from generation to generation, we supposed to teach the ugly and the bad about all the nations, the ugly and the bad about the Israelites. You know, because the main point is the Israelites from the good and the bad. So we're supposed to teach about the wicked. Not only Esau, not only Am uh, Amalek, Ishmael, and Elam, and the Africans, but we're supposed to be talking about the wicked of our brothers and sisters. You know, because um, you got, um, let me see, I think it's Matthew, the third chapter. Yeah, when John the Baptist was having his ministry and he was baptizing. With, I'm Lord willing, I could do a lesson on it from verse 6 to 12. He's telling the Pharisees and Sadducees, old generation of vipers. And then at the end of it, he's he's describing uh, the wheat, the wheat in the shafts. Uh, basically, the tears will be gathered together and the shafts will burn up. And those shafts is really the tears, you know. So the tears in Israel have to be destroyed. You fuck, you, excuse my language, you damn bimbo teasers. You know, trying to leave the, the flock somewhere else. Pork eating teachers. Trying to seem that there's no higher. Brothers that get in this thing for popularity gang or really in this thing for money. The Lord know them brothers hearts. So you got to know it's angels on both sides. You know, the real, the real prophetic teachers. The priest, those are those real angels on the right hand side. Then you got uh, angels on the left hand side. Let me bring this out and then I'll close. This is Hebrews chapter 1, verse, verse 14. This is what it reads. It says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister them who shall be heirs of salvation? So a lot a lot of us that really get in this truth, you know, it was a, a spirit that was that was over you, ministering minister, ministering upon in your ear, man. Ministering to your spirit. You know, this is why this is how brothers get into this truth. And it's another verse where it's uh, the prophet is subject to a prophet, right? That, that that spirit that a man have, a man or a woman, you know, the spirit that, that's entertained inside of us is subject to a prophet. So if you are a prophet, a teacher, evangelist, you know, that spirit is going to come back upon you, let alone you're going to, you're going to uh, uh, run. You know, your ears is going to be listening to the prophet speak because the, the, the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophets. It is very, it's plain and simple. The angels are subject to the same, to the, to the to them spirits that are teachers, man. You know, this is why the Lord is our assurance and our guide because them angels will get you back in your path, you know. And this is why even more, you know, all praise to the most high for me to come across that, that you know, that video because it, it just hit, you know, and I'm going to just read again. Psalms 103, verse 20. Bless you, how are ye angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word, right? And now that we know that the, the, the angels under the, under the sun is the children of Israel, now that we know that those are angels, what we need to do is try to rehearse to the best of our ability, the commandments of the Lord and hear his voice, which is the sense of milk, the parables, the dark sands and the prophecies, you know, in most cases, you're going to have to go to the teachers, get guided in the scriptures, just like Acts the eighth chapter, verse 26 on down, right? So, uh, well, well, let's edify and straight to the point, look for them angels, 
look for them uh, prophets, priests, teachers, and ambassadors, kings and messengers of the Lord's uh, ministry, you know, the representatives. And with that, Shalom.